Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar C. The 26th of September 1820 to the 29th of July 1891, born Ishwar Chandra Bandiyopadhyay, Ishwar Chandra Bandiyopadhyay, Bengali, Isbarakhandra Bandiyopadhyay, was a Bengali polymath from the Indian subcontinent and a key figure of the Bengal Renaissance. He was a philosopher, academic educator, writer, translator, printer, publisher, entrepreneur, reformer, and philanthropist. His efforts to simplify and modernize Bengali prose were significant. He also rationalized and simplified the Bengali alphabet and type, which had remained unchanged since Charles Wilkins and Panchanan Karmakar had cut the first wooden Bengali type in 1780. He also forced the British to pass the Widow Remarriage Act. He received the title, Vidyasagar. In Sanskrit Vidya means knowledge and Sagar means ocean, i.e., ocean of knowledge from Sanskrit College, Calcutta from where he graduated, due to his excellent performance in Sanskrit studies and philosophy. Noted Bengali mathematician Anil Kumar Gain founded Vidyasagar University, named in his honour. In 2004, Vidyasagar was ranked number 9 in BBC's poll of the greatest Bengali of all time. Topic. Biography Ishwar Chandra Bandiyopadhyay was born in a Hindu Brahmin family to Thakurdas Bandiyopadhyay and Bhagavati Devi at Bursinga village in the Ghatal subdivision of Pasha Midnapur district in current day West Bengal on 26 September 1820. At the age of nine, he went to Calcutta and started living in Bhagabat Sharan's house in Bura Bazar, where Thakurdas had already been staying for some years. Ishwar felt at ease amidst Bhagabat's large family and settled down comfortably in no time. Bhagabat's youngest daughter Ramoni's motherly and affectionate feelings towards Ishwar touched him deeply and had a strong influence on his later revolutionary work towards the upliftment of women's status in India. His quest for knowledge was so intense that he used to study under a street light as it was not possible for him to afford a gas lamp at home. He cleared all the examinations with excellence and in quick succession. He was rewarded with a number of scholarships for his academic performance. To support himself and the family, Ishwar Chandra also took a part-time job of teaching at Jorishanko. Ishwar Chandra joined the Sanskrit College, Calcutta and studied there for 12 long years and passed out of the college in 1841 qualifying in Sanskrit grammar, literature, dialectics Alankara Shastra, Vedanta, Smruti and astronomy. As was the custom then Ishwar Chandra married at the age of 14. His wife was Dynamani Devi. Narayan Chandra Bandiyopadhyaya was their only son. In the year 1839, Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar successfully cleared his law examination. In 1841, at the age of 21 years, Ishwar Chandra joined Fort William College as head of the Sanskrit department. After five years, in 1846, Vidyasagar left Fort William College and joined the Sanskrit College as assistant secretary. In the first year of service, Ishwar Chandra recommended a number of changes to the existing education system. This report resulted in a serious altercation between Ishwar Chandra and college secretary Rasamoy Dutta. In 1849, he against the advice of Rasamoy Dutta, resigned from Sanskrit College and rejoined Fort William College as a head clerk. Vidyasagar established Barisha High School in Kolkata in 1856 by Amulya Ambadi the Reformer. Widow remarriage Vidyasagar championed the upliftment of the status of women in India, particularly in his native Bengal. Unlike some other reformers who sought to set up alternative societies or systems, he sought to transform orthodox Hindu society from within. With support from people like Akshay Kumar Dutta, Vidyasagar introduced the practice of widow remarriages to mainstream Hindu society. The prevailing custom of Kulin Brahmin polygamy allowed elderly men sometimes on their deathbeds to marry teenage or prepubescent girls, supposedly to spare their parents the shame of having an unmarried girl attain puberty in their house. After such marriages, these girls would usually be left behind in their parental homes, where they might be subjected to orthodox rituals, especially if they were subsequently widowed. These included a semi starvation, hard domestic labor, and close restriction on their freedom to leave the house or be seen by strangers. Unable to tolerate the ill treatment, many of these girls would run away and turn to prostitution to support themselves. 
Ironically, the economic prosperity and lavish lifestyles of the city made it possible for many of them to have successful careers once they stepped out of the sanction of society and into the demi monde. In 1853 it was estimated that Calcutta had a population of 12,718 prostitutes and public women. Many widows had to shave their heads and don white saris, supposedly to discourage attention from men. They led a deplorable life, something Vidyasagar thought was unfair and sought to change. <laughs> Bengali alphabet and language reconstruction He reconstructed the Bengali alphabet and simplified Bengali topography into an alphabet actually a bugida of 12 vowels and 40 consonants, eliminating the Sanskrit phonemes r, r, ll, ll, and ba vo, and a few punctuation marks, while adding three new letters, ra ro, ra ro, and ya yo, to reflect contemporary pronunciation. He contributed significantly to Bengali and Sanskrit literature, with one of his works, Borno Porichoy, character identification. Being considered a classic. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Books authored by Vidyasagar. Betal Panchabinsati 1847. Bangala R. Itahas 1848. Jibancharit 1850. Badadoi 1851. Upakramanika 1851. Bidaba Bibaha Bishayak Prostab 216554 Borno Porichoy 1854 Kotamala 1856 Sitar Bonobas 1860 Bengali newspaper Shom Prakash started publishing in 1858 Topic meeting with Ramakrishna Vidyasagar was liberal in his outlook even though he was born in an orthodox Hindu Brahmin family also he was highly educated and influenced by oriental thoughts and ideas. But Ramakrishna in contrast did not have a formal education. But, they had a nice relation between them. When Ramakrishna met Vidyasagar, he praised Vidyasagar as the ocean of wisdom. Vidyasagar joked that Ramakrishna should have collected some amount of salty water of that sea. But, Ramakrishna, with profound humbleness and respect, replied that the water of general sea might be salty, but not the water of the sea of wisdom. Accolades Shortly after Vidyasagar's death, Rabindranath Tagore reverently wrote about him, "...one wonders how God, in the process of producing 40 million Bengalis, produced a man." After death, he is remembered in many ways, some of them include Vidyasagar Setu commonly known as the Second Hooghly Bridge, is a bridge over the Hooghly River in West Bengal, India. It links the city of Howrah to its twin city of Kolkata. The bridge is named after Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar. A fair named Vidyasagar Mela Bengali, Vidyasagara Mela Bidyasagar Mela, which is dedicated to spreading education and increasing social awareness, has been held annually in West Bengal since 1994. Since 2001, it has been held simultaneously in Kolkata and Bursinga. There is a reputed college named after him and it is located in College Street, Kolkata and a university named Vidyasagar University in Pasham Midnapur. Rectitude and courage were the hallmarks of Vidyasagar's character, and he was certainly ahead of his time. In recognition of his scholarship and cultural work the government designated Vidyasagar a Companion of the Indian Empire in 1877 in the final years of life, he chose to spend his days among the Santhals an old tribe in India. There is Vidyasagar Street in central Kolkata, which is named after him. The West Bengal government has established a stadium named after this great man Vidyasagara Karangana Vidyasagar Stadium at Barasat, the district centre of North 24 Parganas. Vidyasagar Hall of Residence, Indian Institute of Technology, Karagpur. Vidyasagar Station in Jamtara district of Jharkhand. Corpus Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar spent the last 18 to 20 years of his life among the Santhals at Nandan Kanan, Karmatar in the district of Jamtara, Jharkhand. The station Karmatar has been renamed as Vidyasagar Railway Station in his honour.
Topic textbooks Barna Pariche, Parts 1 and 2, 1855, Rijupath, Parts 1, 2 and 3, 1851 to 52, Sanskrita Bhayakaranar Upakramanika, 1951, Bhayakaran Kamudi, 1853. 